Kentucky is now one month into an executive order allowing narrow legal protections for those using medical marijuana. But as Bodie Brooks reports, there's still a lot of confusion surrounding the order and scammers are already taking advantage. Bodie. Yeah, Monty. So if you are not sure if medical marijuana is legal in Kentucky, the simple answer is no. Marijuana possession is still illegal in Kentucky. Nothing has changed there. What the governor's executive order did was qualify certain patients for a pardon if they are caught possessing it by police. But despite this, more and more alleged businesses have started selling false hope. Most of the time I talk to people and they have a misunderstanding about what this actually does for them. And then they're confused and they say, what do you mean? They can take many forms, from certificates to cards. But if you're a potential medical marijuana patient in Kentucky thinking about paying for some kind of official certification, none are going to get you very far. You will not be able to take this paper uh, and take it to uh, Ohio to a medical market and purchase in a medical dispensary. Okay, because Kentucky does not have a medical program. Lauren Bratcher with Kentucky Normal, a marijuana law reform group, says several alleged businesses have started preying on the confusion around medical marijuana in Kentucky and fooling patients into purchasing something like an ID card. These businesses are charging $150, $200, up to $300 for a certification, a letter. We have looked up the addresses and found empty buildings. We have looked up the phone numbers and found um, out-of-state phone numbers that no one will answer. As far as the law is concerned, they just haven't caught up, and Bratcher says this is a legal gray area. To be clear, Kentucky issues no official documents to medical marijuana patients. Governor Andy Bashir's executive order just extends legal protections to people who have been medically diagnosed with one of 21 conditions. All we're talking about here is a letter from your doctor that's going to help you qualify for this pardon from the governor if you get caught. Patients would also need proof they purchased marijuana legally in another state. The Ratcher says they still take a risk on themselves breaking federal law to carry it across state lines. Bratcher says their organization will be meeting with lawmakers next month to see about what legal protections can be made in this area. If you are still unsure about if you qualify for medical marijuana and have more questions, you can visit Kentucky Normal's fact page. I have a link to that in this story on fox56news.com. Imani. Bodie, thank you.